When I started working on the science of gem cutting, I wanted to push the material further than anyone had ever pushed it before. I wanted to create something truly unique and fresh. Not only did I want to teach about how to use the software in order to make intelligent designs and to create the gemstone designs of your dreams, but I also wanted to teach about how different patterns evoke different feelings. So this is another cut that started as a diamond cut, and it's exactly a square emerald cut, but with some specific proportions. Lots of sort of lights and darks contrasting, playing. They're, they're really animated. It's a bit of a deeper cut because you have so many steps. Each design evokes a unique feeling between contrast, light return, color saturation, and scintillation. I wanted to be able to look at each type of stone, each cut, and critically analyze it, compare it, talk about these different kinds of moods and feelings that the different patterns create so that we can be more intelligent in our approach towards design. We're gonna build a design from scratch. So I'm gonna show you guys how can we set our starting ratios so we can actually build a design that we know is gonna fit inside of our real life rough. I really wanted to look at the science behind the cuts you know, what actually makes them work. Not only did I want to push the understanding of cut and colored stone science to a new plateau, I also wanted to push the software as a tool for planning recuts, while also looking at some of the challenges that we face when trying to bring the beauty out of a troubled stone. So there's our first step. We just do the same thing f three more times you don't even really see the black in this one. Like there's no black ends because really they're almost going straight up and down. This is the same stone. So notice here, when you look, first look at the stone, you don't really see too much of the blue. It looks pretty much black and then you have window right here. And so when we recut it, it's still, you, it's still a dark stone, but now you can see so much more blue throughout the stone. And I took each one to a further level of polishing. Big difference, blurry versus sharp. I welcome you to join me in my upcoming distance learning sessions for the science of gem cutting and take your knowledge of gemstone cutting to a whole new level. And I felt like it kind of came at a time where I was feeling a little bit, you know, frustrated, I think, with my own practice. The resources in the information that you shared kind of helped bridge that for me and it re-sparked that confidence that I needed, layering in the polishing and the different cutting styles and color and orientation, you know, that sparked some additional excitement for me to start trying some new things. I really love the class. I think when I see it on my own and see how it, yeah. all of these react, I'm gonna probably have like a different understanding of it. I really enjoyed it. Every single time I, I find myself focusing because I, I find that, you know, with experience, you really come to a conclusion and to an understanding of what to implement, what not to implement. From the aspect of, let's say, the software and how to design a recut, that was for me uh, one of the most important things to take away from, from the whole thing.